Now, well, when you think of chess, you probably don't think of grade school children. Well, the kids from St. Ethel Rita's Grammar School are not only playing chess, they're winning at it big time. We went to the K through 12 Scholastic Tournament. One section we came in first place, another section we came in second place as a team. Not to mention all the individual awards. All grade Catholic school tournament, our seventh and eighth grade team came in first place there. We've really been succeeding in and I'm just so happy for the kids. It is a race. It is a race to see who can get their pieces into the battlefield to get coordinated to do battle. My name is Eric Luster, and I am the chess coach here at St. Ethelreda. Protect the king, fight for the center, and castling king safety. King safety is number one law. One of the reasons I started the chess club is because I saw the research that showed that the more students play chess, the more they improve their math scores. So being a math teacher, I said, hey, I got to get chess here to St. Ethelreda. I had no idea how many kids were going to join. In fact, I think initially it might have been 10. They brought more and more kids. Kids said, hey, if the eighth graders are joining, I'm going to be involved. And it kind of got bigger after that. This is called an absolute pin. We are pinning the night to the square. I have witnessed their test scores especially improve throughout the years. It makes the students think outside the box. Always being able to think two steps ahead. That is also important in the game of chess. And, and then they also know that there's more than one way to solve a problem. You can use queen, you can use bishop. Which one is the best, and why is it the best? I want to be an entrepreneur and run my own business. Playing chess, I feel like it'll really give me a heads up with planning and making sure I know the right time to do things. There's so many times that they always ask about athletics. Other than basketball, football, baseball, they can use their mind and work the board. And we've heard so much about the negative things that take place among the youth. We wanted to be a partaker of and seeing the success of young kids in our neighborhood chess club. There's one young lady that I am related to, it happens to be my daughter. She is in the top 100 of kids uh, age 12, girls, in the entire United States. She wants to become the first African-American female chess master. I am so proud of this team. I just feel fortunate to say I'm their coach. They're doing a marvelous job. Welcome, Dr. Denise Spells and Mr. Eric Lester. Hello to the both of you. Hi, hi, hi. Dr. Denise, we'll start with you. How proud are you of your students? Words cannot explain it. I am, I am just overwhelmed by how much they've accomplished this year. Chess team started about seven years ago, but mm -hmm. I've watched some of them when they were Shakira and Trichelle, when they were just in second grade, started playing chess. Yeah. And now look at them, they're winning trophies. They're thinking outside the box and right. they're thinking critically intensely and they can move mountains. Yes, they can. When Mr. Eric brought this idea to you oh so many years ago, did you have any doubts? Were you skeptical or were you all the way on board? I was all the way on board because I said children need to know that they don't have to be the best athlete, the best musician, the best singer. Use your mind mm. because your mind will open doors and take you places that a basketball Hello. Will take you. Hello. And Eric, I got to ask you, we saw you in the piece, you're passionate about this, but tell us a little bit more about the life skills that these kids are going to learn from picking up the game of chess. Yeah, I think the biggest life skill is the lifelong skill of good decision making. Mm. You know, in life, uh, in jobs, in yeah. the situations that children go through, you got to think about your next move. Should I go here? Should I go there? Is this safe? Particularly in Chicago. So. I think that skill is very important. They'll be able to use it the rest of their life. And how do you how do you get them to learn that skill from playing the game of chess? Because do you teach you obviously teach that in chess, but how do you get them to transfer that into everyday thinking? Absolutely, chess is chess is about that. You know, if I move here, what is my opponent thinking? Is this safe? Uh -huh. And and life is the same way. We talk about that all the time. Is this a good decision for you? Should you do this? Will this come out the best way for you? So right, and you got to think happens. quick too. You got to think quick. <laughs> Yes. Quick and smart. Well, Ryan is playing St. Ethel Rita, star chess player, who happens to be related to Eric, right? Yeah, my, my heart's beating fast over here. Is because it? I'm in an intense game right now. Shakira. Oh, now's the time to make your move while he's talking. <laughs> no, she's he can't good. talk and I, think. Trust me, I got my hands full over here. Shakira, how old are you? 
Um, I am 12 years old. 12 years old, okay, so you're gonna rub it in once you beat me, I get it. Um, <laughs> when did you start playing this game and what do you love about it the most? Well, I love the thrill of chess. I started playing when I was three years old. My dad taught me how to move the pieces. Yeah, and you're doing a great job, I can tell you so far. And, and what do you want to do eventually? Like, what, what's the ultimate goal for you? You want to be a chess master? Yes. Um, I also would like to be a pastry chef. A pastry chef? Yes. And a chess master? Yes. All right, let's talk about the, the chess part of this first. Uh, how many tournaments, like, how many ha tournaments have you won already? Well, I can't think of them, it's really a lot. <laughs> it's so many you can't think of them. Uh, when you think about this game, I, and, and you know, the coach was talking about it, your dad was talking about it, you can kind of compare this game to so much about life, the consequences for every decision you make. W what do you like about it the most? Uh, like I said, I like the thrill of it. Mm. Um, um, I like the fact that it helps you with your math. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you want to be a pastry chef. What, what is it about being a pastry chef? Well, um, I started, well, my, I started liking to bake mm -hmm. when I was younger. Um, I just I moved think my. She's studying the board. While she is. is. How, how many? She okay. can't even concentrate on the answers. You know what? No, I'm You're serious because right. she like, hasn't taken her eye off of that board. Yeah. I'm watching. How many moves can you see in advance? Because that's really the key to this game. Yes. How many do you think you can see in advance? Three. <laughs> Look at that face. She's not even playing with you, Rod. No, no, and I'm playing my hardest, trust me. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right. All right, well, hey, uh, if you want to uh, catch these young chess superstars in action, they are playing a tournament at Niles North High School on March 17th. Check out stethelrita.org for all the info.